All right, welcome out there. In this video, I am going to show you a rapid way to solve an extremely common problem when it comes to local SEO location pages, and that is writing unique content. Number one, it's costly. Number two, it is time invasive to write all of these pages and to make them unique. But we have a software solution that could literally do this in minutes and generate hundreds of pages if you need to. So we're going to be talking about this software here called ZimWriter. And don't worry, I'll include a link to it below to get this very cheap. And ZimWriter works with uh, GPT-4 right now, so it is pumping out some amazing quality. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So number one, we're going to drop down here to where it says Local SEO Buffet. I'm going to click on that. And right in here, we've got a few options to be able to train the system on the outputs that we want. We can put in the business type. As you can see, I've already entered in here tree removal services, let's say as an example. We could put in the name of the business. Okay, so we could say, you know, LA tree removal as an example. And step three, we can enter in some additional information about the business. This might be USP based information. So as an example, it says for 15 years in business. Okay, we can stick that in there and add an extra S. We can say fast and friendly. We can say low cost, whatever you want to put in here. These are just different highlights that we could use for USPs that it'll include in the content. Always the more the better, we're going to get more options, but I'll stop there. The next thing that we can do here is we'll enter in the number of locations the business serves. This can go up to 25. I'm just going to leave it at five right now so that we can move on. Now we also enter in the locations of the businesses. Here it says use the city and the state for best results or something that is similar if you're outside the USA. Background is optional and it is a paragraph or two about the location such as local landmarks and histories, things to do in the area, etc. So what we could do is we'll enter in the name of the location. So I could put in Los Angeles. And also if we're going to look to those surrounding areas, let's say Pasadena, and we can also say, let's say Glendale, which is a local area. So you could, of course, enter in way more than this if we had selected more. If we enable background, this is another sweet option. So when you do this, what we can also stick in here, those of you who are aware of this as well, if we put in some background information about the location, like local landmarks and so forth, for example, parks or areas that are really well known, if we were going to talk about Anaheim, we might mention Disneyland, for example. Okay, we would put that in there and it would use that local information to assist with creating the content. So I'm not going to do this at the moment just for speed purposes here and brevity. But you could see here now that the other thing to do is the services that the business offers. Now, of course, right in here, a lot of businesses are going to look to optimize for multiple, multiple keywords. So, for example, service number one might be tree removal. And of course, here we can enter in some additional USP for service number one that is relevant to that. We could also stick in one to three benefits of that unique selling proposition. We can do this. This is optional. You don't have to do all of it. But we can add that in there to keep generating some immensely useful local content. Now, as we go down here to step number eight, we can enable literary devices. This adds in just some further uh, improvements to the writing so that it looks more natural and good. We can also boost the chances of detection as real if you care about that. Of course, we go through this time and time again on my channel that Google doesn't really care that much about AI. They care that the information is helpful for the searcher's query. So, but you of course can do that here and it'll add some additional things into it. Also, you can translate to non-English language in the system right now it is in beta. And of course it would be best if you had GPT-4 open uh, API. So we could also select our model here. As you can see here, text DaVinci 003. I can use GPT-4 and of course I could use GPT-3.5 Turbo. Now, of course I have the uh, open AI uh, API for GPT-4. So when I enter that into the software, I have access to that, which obviously I would be using the most. Now, once you do that, you start that local buffet, and then what it's going to do is it's going to take about five to 10 minutes, depending on how long, uh, what's going on. If we select GPT-4, it's going to be quite a bit longer, of course. But what you're going to be left with is a huge file worth of content that is relatively unique for all of those settings. Once you get this done, you'll have one file 
And of course, it is not just directly ready to upload. I'm gonna show you this in a few moments here, but you'll have to do some tweaking, but it gives you some options to copy and paste. So for every single page and location, you get those options. But let me tell you this now, I have been using this on multiple websites and in particular, it is crushing it for those low competition keywords and a lot of those hyper local areas in which nobody is targeting them. And I upload a couple a week, build some backlinks to it, and it is doing extraordinary. So make sure you grab onto this software. Okay, we're gonna open this up so you can take a look. And so these documents have been created in here. I'm just gonna grab one of these so you can see what the content looks like. They're all in notepad variety. What it shows us at the top here is what model was used. And of course, in this one, I use GPT 3.5 Turbo. And it gives us an idea of how many tokens were actually spent generating this content. And in this case, uh, we had about 15, 46 words. So it cost about 14 cents to generate this. Uh, so these costs are coming down over time. And again, depending on what model you use and so forth, but um, for the time, money, and energy that it costs to create this stuff, it is literally nothing, especially when you're pumping out high volume. So what you're gonna get here is a meta title, a meta description. We get these kind of different features. Uh, Matt, the creator of Zimwriter, has kind of fashioned these with a, a different headline. He calls them the fizzy TLDR, spicy list of features, etc. And this is all generated from the content that we have entered in the previous screen. So you have all of these different sections, and one of my favorite things is FAQs. So it generates an FAQ that is optimized for the keywords that we entered. And down here, as you scroll down, he calls these what he refers to as the delicious dishes, which are the main course. And these are a bunch of different options for content on the page. Now there's some redundancy here. So as you scroll through there, you've got to pick the one that you like the most, and then you can essentially put that into the page. Now what I do just for simplicity is create a template for a local page. And all I do is go in here and change the URL and copy and paste the new information into the page. And I'll oftentimes use an image uh, from something like Unsplash, for example, that's free. And I'll change the alt tags for the ideal keyword that I'm trying to target and bickety bang, all done. Okay. so. What you want to do is to repeat this at high volume, but like I said, this is so fast, it's so easy. I don't upload too many pages, usually kind of throttle them back to a couple a week, but uh, this is just an immense, immense time saver. So I highly recommend that you get a hold of Zimwriter while it is pretty cheap right now, because I'm sure on future occasion, it's going, the price is going to be going up as the software does much better. But make sure you grab this for writing your local SEO pages, and uh, I'll drop the link below. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up here, subscribe to the channel, click on those notifications so that you can get access to uh, videos that are coming up. Comment below, let me know what you think. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.